So first job on the inside of the caravan. This is the Caligas boiler, the hot water heater. And we've got a leak down there that's going under the floor and wetting the carpet. And under that, what looks like dirt there is actually water underneath. Anyway, it appears to be coming from the pipework. So it must be fixed and this is absolutely sodden and I found a friend. Oh, isn't that nice? You fat slug. On the hottest day of the year, I can't think of better things I should be doing, but anyway. We'll press on, see if I can... Uh... As much as I don't like slugs, I will try not to kill it. Oh God, it's horrible. Oh, those things, what are they called? Oh, it's just disappearing down there. They look like prehistoric creatures. There's one. What's it called? Oh, well, there's one getting cozied up with a slug. So I'll remove the wildlife and continue. So, I find the leak. <laughs> it's not where I thought. I just assumed it was going to be down there somewhere in this sort of... There's a nightmare of pipes underneath the caravan. And the caravan's raised, you see. So at a metre high, so you can get underneath quite easily. But you can't really see where it's coming from. It looks like it's coming from inside of a panel that I'm looking at. So I thought, well, where's it coming from? And I just noticed there's a little river of water. There we go, running down here. And it's coming from this joint here. So I don't know whether it's this flex, in fact, I think it might be that flexi pipe. Um, so rather than fiddle with it now, because it's seven o'clock at night and if, I, if something breaks, it'll be water everywhere. If I want to come back and uh, replace that and that up into there and hope that just solves this problem. And then it's just a case of, hopefully, Depends how long this has been going for. It looks to be quite a while, but if I can get this dry, uh, now's the weather to dry it out, it won't be so bad. Otherwise, we can just replace. Like I say, this is all being ripped out anyway, so we can replace a bit of the OSB floor if necessary. So I might just cut this vinyl so it and the carp and lift the carpet back so that it's it's open to the air and hopefully it'll dry off a bit better. It does go a little bit into the toilet as well. It's like it runs underneath the vinyl to here. I think you could say if we call it a leak or what a river it appears to be. Going out of there. 